It is important that you l really watch everything I'm about to say. This is going to be one of the most unique and inter interesting teachings that I've ever put on my YouTube channel because it's, it, it has great revelation in it. Now, this is a harp, and I was looking at this. I, I own this. I got it at an auction a long time ago, and we've never had it totally repaired yet. But this was made in London. It's harp number 2016. I was told it dates back to the 1700s. And of course, it needs to be restrung. Now, the point that I make is to not to show you this beautiful old harp, but to share with you how that harp music is the music of heaven because they play harps in heaven, the elders, 24 elders, right before the throne of God. And the harp was invented in the scripture by a man by the name of Jubal, who was one of the early descendants of Adam. We want to, however, share with you some really important and exciting information about harp music and what it will do. I want to get one verse in the book of Samuel, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. Saul's servant said to him, surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command your servants who are before you to seek out a man who is a skillful player on the harp and it shall be that he will play with his hand. And when the distressing spirit from the Lord is upon you, you shall be made well. Now, the Jewish tradition on David playing the harp was this. He placed the harp. He would hold it over his heart and put his ear on the wood and begin to quietly uh, play. But it was loud to his ear. The vibration of the harp would shake loose the shell around his heart. God would then send inspiration to David. So the harp was used according to Jewish tradition in the life of David to inspire him personally with inspiration. We do know that in the scripture that it says that Saul was refreshed, made well, and the evil spirit departed from him. The Hebrew word fresh means to breathe easy and to breathe uh, freely, uh, to have room to, re to revive. The word well in Hebrew means cheered up and doing well. Of course, the evil spirit departing speaks for itself. So the harp music was able to relieve a tormenting spirit that was in the life of Saul and caused that spirit to depart from Saul. Now, I want to ask you some quick questions. Was it the harp alone that did that? Or was it the song that David was playing on the harp? Or was it the anointing that was upon David while he played the harp? In secular music, there is a counterfeit unction or a counterfeit anointing that motivates the musician and the singers. In the kingdom of God, there is something called the anointing, which is another word is the unction of the Holy Spirit, that when they play any type of instrument and they are anointed, it comes through the music to the people that are listening. Now, I want to share some things with you. David said this in Psalms 144 and 1. He said, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I always thought that he was referring to the slingshot or a bow and arrow when he alluded to that. However, if you keep going down in Psalms 144, verse 9, eight verses later, he says, I will sing a new song unto you, O God, upon a psaltery and upon an instrument of ten, ten strings will I praise thee. So watch this. David's weapon was not the slingshot or the spear and the bow and the arrow. It was the harp. It literally became an atmosphere uh, changer. The Bible said he was very skilled on the harp. So in other words, David could take this instrument, not this one, but a harp or a psaltery. And some of them had 10 strings and some of them uh, were, were much larger than that, of course, had more strings than that. But he could actually shift the atmosphere with harp music. So I want to talk to you for a moment. I'm going to read some things here because I want to get this right on the power of harp music. This is from the National Institute on Health. Bone marrow transplants at the University of Rochester Medical Center, two times a week, a harp was used around them, you know, and music was played from a harp around them. They began to feel less pain and less nausea. The, those in the musical session also began producing white blood cells two days faster than the others. Harps in cardiac units have been used to reduce anxiety, pain, blood pressure, and the music from a harp secretes one half levels of stress hormones. Now, I abbreviated that there. There's more detail than just that. The brain's hearing and emotional centers are completely impacted by the music of the harp. Um, when you begin to really uh, pay careful uh, attention to this, you also begin to find out that there's other research that's been done on a harp that I want to give you. Um, 
this is, this is recent research. The human vibration, the human body operates off of electrical impulse, impulses because the heart can be shocked electronically or with electrical uh, impulses. The brain uh, also can be shocked. In other words, there have been people that have had difficulties with uh, neurological systems and the shock treatment has been used. A pacemaker has an electrical shock to it to keep your heart. Uh, so th let me say it this way again. The human body is used to vibrations and impulses in the sense of using electrical impulses for the body. Uh, so watch this. There are strong instruments such as the guitar, the violin and strings that a vibration is used to produce the sound. The harp resonates with the healthy vibrations of the human body. Let me say that again. The harp resonates with the healthy vibrations of the human body. There was a woman ha that was about to have heart surgery and there was another woman in scrubs playing a harp, a, B a BBC, the Brett's the British Broadcasting uh, Company, documentary noted that cancer cells as harps are played begin to actually change shapes. In Jerusalem, they discovered at a hospital that the sound of a harp increases oxygen absor absorption, which is needed for mental health. So you have all this amazing um, facts that are connected to the music of a harp. Now, Elijah the prophet, and I want to talk about spiritual warfare for about 30 seconds. Elijah the prophet, when going into actual battle, this is what the Bible said. Elisha said, as the Lord God of hosts lives before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat the king, I would not look at you nor see you, but now bring me a musician. Then it happened when the musician played, the hand of the Lord came upon him. Now the musician was playing a stringed instrument, probably a harp, and as they played, the unction of God came upon the man and he was able to prophesy when the instruments were, were, uh, were playing. So. There's so much more we could tell you. I, I could give you the history of the harp and, um, you know, how the harp is going to be used in heaven and all that type of thing. But I want to encourage you uh, that if you can get, get a hold of harp music or you can have uh, harp music played to use it if you're having physical difficulty, if you feel like you're being tormented by some type of a spirit, because it's an atmosphere changer. Years ago in my partner's conference, I preached a message on the harp, the music of heaven. It's actually, it actually was called the music of angels. And uh, I had Larry Bean, who at that time was working with me, who was a great keyboard player, take the keyboard and shift it into the sound of a harp. All of a sudden he hit the keyboard and began to play. Literally, I demonstrated this uh, before about let's say 800 people that were partners, the entire atmosphere immediately shifted. And I had, I asked Larry, I said, I want you to go to our studio. We have a sound studio here and I want you to play songs of nothing but that sounds like a harp, no drums, no other instrument, no trumpet being used, just that. And, he, and we did this CD called the music of angels, which is music, musical orchestration, um, and, and it's got about, um, you know, eight different songs, but it's only, it only sounds like a harp. And uh, I have played this when I was in distress. I've played this when I've been studying and I had a well-known and I didn't get his permission to tell the story. So I'm not going to use his name, but everybody watching will know him. He's on television. He's a Baptist minister. And he contacted our ministry and said, do you have more of those? That is one of the greatest audio CDs I've ever heard. And I use it all the time when I'm praying or studying. So I wanted to share with you. And, and by the way, if you're interested in this, you can get it, call our ministry or go online and get it through our ministry. I think it'll be a blessing. That's not why I did the teaching. I just told the guy, hey, bring that out here because people may want to know, do we have something available? So the power of the harp is biblical. The power of the harp uh, is found in heaven. And so I want to tell you that according to scripture, the harp sound played by someone who was anointed by the Lord can drive away tormenting spirits and actually helps in the process of healing. And of course, the documentation is there. Go online and look up uh, harp music and the documentation is there and you can get a lot more documentation than what we've actually shared with you. So I thought that you'd find that interesting. It is a very special instrument and it has something to it that helps the vibrations of a human body. And again, the research has been done by different institutes that can help give you more information on that. Hope you've enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, keep watching uh, Perry Stone YouTube channel for the many other things that we're going to be sharing with you. God bless you.
Greetings, everyone. This is Perry Stone, and I have a great announcement for you. I'm now making available to each of you the International Prophetic Summit, the greatest summit I was ever able to participate in. These are available on CD and DVD albums. There are 11 messages in all by myself, Bill Cloud, Mark Biltz, and also Joel Richardson. Let me just give you the titles you're going to hear. Is the Seven Sealed Book Now Being Opened? The Parable of the Fig Tree and What It Means for America. What would Jesus do during this present civil war? A biblical response to aliens and UFOs. I preached a message called The Green New Deal and its economic impact on your family. Another great message that was preached. A word for America from the prophecy of Habakkuk. Another message is called What Time Is It? Bill Cloud stunned the audience with a message called Beware the Abab Rav. I preached a message called Answering Tough Apocalyptic Questions That No One Is Answering. Mark Biltz came back and preached a message called Jeremiah is a Prophet for Our Day. I closed the conference out with this message, Should You Prepare for a Pale Transition? Now I want to say something to you. It is a right now word. They are prophetic. They answer questions. And these are the unedited versions of the message. Now listen to me. On the Manifest Telecast, you only get about 20 to 21 minutes of a message. I still have another 40 minutes to preach. Not only that, but we never show the speaker's messages. And sometimes some of the information they share is for certain at-home ears only. It really would be rejected if it was put on social media. So I'm going to tell you how to get this series. If you want to get the CD album, the number is 21 PS CD, and it's for $65 or more donation. If you would like to get the DVDs, and can I suggest to you to get the DVDs because, especially with Mark Biltz, they have PowerPoint pictures. I show you pictures in my messages, and people really seem to enjoy that. But the DVDs are offer number 21 PS DVD for $95. Now here's how you order. You can call toll free 1-888-21-BREAD, order that way, or you can contact perrystone.org on the internet, log on and order online, or just send us a check to Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Now remember this, that those checks and those orders go 100% to the Voice of Evangelism Ministry to help keep the manifest program on the air. Now we're living in the greatest prophetic times that there's ever been. There is a clash between two kingdoms taking place. You are only arming yourself properly if you are armed with revelation knowledge and the truth of God's Word. May I encourage you, call, go online, or write me right now. God bless you.